Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to your Tuesday. We had a rain shower move through South Haven. There's a live webcam shot there, but most areas are not seeing that. As you go up to Fifth Third Ballpark and Comstock Park, we're just stocked in with all that low-level stratocumulus cloud cover. I can rule out a little bit of patchy drizzle or a light passing shower through the evening hours here, but most places will miss out on that. Lots of clouds into tomorrow. Fingers are crossed. Late afternoon tomorrow into the evening, we might see a little bit of clearing. That'll help to get our temperatures up to around 48, 49, maybe 50 degrees. If we don't get in on any sunshine tomorrow and it just stays flat out cloudy, we'll probably be stuck in the mid 40s. Temperatures will warm for Thursday and beyond, though. And our next rain chance coming in here Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. I think that's going to be fairly light, probably only about a quarter of an inch or less. So we're not talking about much rain this time of round. And that's already kicked out of here. So Sunday, we're already looking a little bit brighter. I think you'll like the temperatures as well. Live Doppler radar not showing much. Maybe one light shower around or just north of Holland, and that's it again. We might see a light passing shower, some patchy drizzle out there, but that'll be about it. We're 45, one of the warmer spots there in Muskegon, 43 in uh, Fremont, 44 in Big Rapids, 41 in Grand Rapids, lower 40s along and south of the I-94 corridor. But you can see the difference between where we're socked in with cloud cover. By the way, that cloud cover has backed up. It's been moving from east to west. If you're saying, how's that possible? Doesn't everything move from west to east? Yes. But when there's a low pressure system sitting out here and it's pushing things backwards, because remember the circulation around the low in a counterclockwise fashion, when things go east to west and they go backwards, we call that retrograding. And all this cloud cover is moving from the east back off to the west. But if you go far enough to the west, along and west, of the Mississippi River. Look at the temperatures, the central northern plains, even out ahead of that. We're well into the 50s and 60s out there, and we'll get there too. All this gray shading is the cloud cover. See the rain moving backwards. I know that's counterintuitive to what you'd normally think with weather, but that's what's happening. It's called retrograding, going the opposite direction or from the east to the west. And that's why we're stuck under this deck of cloud cover, because we're under that, what we call, we talked about that yesterday, that cyclonic flow behind that low pressure system. Lows tonight dropped to around 36, 37 degrees. Maybe some patchy drizzle this evening. Otherwise, we're just stuck under cloudy skies with a north northeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. If you look at the weather map, here's the upper level low pressure system. You don't see it because this is a surface map, but all of this is kind of being flung back here from the east to the west, even though high pressure is trying to build on in right through to tomorrow morning. Look at all the gray shading there. As we go into the late afternoon, we might start to see in the early evening, start to see some of that clear out or break up a a little bit. Wednesday night, we go clear to partly cloudy. Thursday, we're talking about mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Notice how this system hangs off well to our west, but there'll be a pretty good southerly flow ahead of it, and we start to get into the mild air. We're talking upper 50s by the time we get into Thursday. So here are the numbers for the seven-day forecast. I'm going about 49 degrees. I'm going to keep that 49. If we see some late afternoon sunshine, I think we get there. If we don't see any sun at all and we stay uh, very pessimistic and stays locked in under the cloud cover. We're only going to be probably mid 40s there, uh, but I'm trying to be a little more optimistic there. 58 on Thursday with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. How about 63 degrees on Friday? We're going to have a lot of mid and high level clouds around, though. Saturday looks mostly cloudy. I think we'll have the chance of some light afternoon and evening rain showers, probably a quarter of an inch or less. Highs around 57 degrees. The good news is Sunday now looks good. 58 degrees there. 61 on Monday with a chance of some PM showers and a shower's going to be possible on Tuesday. Your eyes do not deceive you. Look at that. 65 degrees on Tuesday. So if nothing else, uh, temperatures will be a little more conducive over the next several days to getting out and taking a walk around the block just so you don't get that cabin fever. Maybe taking the animals, the dog for a walk as well. Janice, uh, Doug, we'll talk more weather in the 430 half hour. Look at